this is like this is like the twin sister that's slightly prettier the one that's a little bit more popular has more followers on instagram <laughs> Side on me, keep your minds on me. On try, baby, I think you should side with me. Stay solid one time if you lie with me. Just promise you never lie to me. Keep the moves on. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I do home decor, fashion, and lifestyle videos. So if you think that's something you'd be interested in, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that way you are alerted every time I upload a new video. In today's video, we are talking about something that is juicy, honey, okay? We are talking about fragrances and not just any fragrance honey we are talking about fragrances that brings people to their knees men especially okay i love smelling good i love capturing people's attention it's like if you walk into a room and the first thing that they're greeted with is your scent they immediately get drawn to you like everyone's like damn she smells good and I love that feeling. I love getting complimented on my perfume, especially because, honey, this ain't cheap, okay? My perfumes are not cheap, so I'm gonna need you to say I smell good, okay? I'm gonna need at least that. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about those scents that I feel like drop men to their knees. So if you're interested in what's on my list, then keep on watching. Okay, so first off, I really love warm, gourmand, spicy, woodsy smells. So you're gonna see a repeat of a lot of the same ingredients in each of the perfumes, but the way they are presented, they all make them all a little different. So very similar scents, but they all give a different vibe. Just keep that in mind. So if you like those types of scents, then you're gonna love everything on this list. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the first fragrance, and it is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. This was probably one of my first designer fragrances. So I immediately fell in love with this scent the moment that the sales associate sprayed it for me. It just made me feel so sexy. It made me feel sophisticated. It is the perfect date night scent. And it just makes you feel like you're mysterious, you know? It's called Good Girl, but it kind of gives you bad girl vibes. I love this scent. It has top notes of almond, coffee, bergamot, and lemon. The middle notes is tuberose, jasmine, samba, orange blossom, and Bulgarian rose. And the base is tonka bean, cocoa, vanilla, sandalwood, amber, musk, cashmere wood, cinnamon, patchouli, and cedar. The 1.7 ounce runs for $105. That is the one that I have. It is a beautiful bottle. Let's just talk about that for a second. This is just a stunning bottle, okay? It is shaped like a high heel. It has the gold stiletto heel. You only need one or two spritz, but I have definitely worn this a lot and it's practically full. It feels practically full. So yes, such a beautiful scent. Definitely one of my favorites of all time, Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. Okay, so for this next scent that we are going to talk about, this scent is, it's kind of like giving rich auntie vibes, okay? So it's a little bit more mature, but mature in a good way, not in a bad way. It is the Valentina Born in Roma. It is so good, and it's in this beautiful bottle. I love the bottle that it's in. It's very pretty, and it looks great on top of your dresser. This is, wow. Oh my God, y'all. This is good. This is like the perfect mixture of grown and sexy, but not like your grandma's grown. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not trying to be grandma grown. Not, not right now, okay? We're just trying to be sexy, so. I just wanna put that out there. This is definitely not like, you know, white diamonds. <laughs> so let me let you know what the notes are. It is a warm floral, 
the keynotes and at the top notes are black currant, pink peppercorn and bergamot. You're gonna see a running theme with bergamot for me. I love bergamot. And the middle notes are jasmine, grandiflorum absolute and the base is bourbon, vanilla and cashmerian. I have the 3.4 ounce and I believe that's $136. Don't quote me on it, but I did get the biggest bottle that they had because that's just how good it is. And look how much I have, look how much I have left. But damn, this is good, y'all. Sheesh. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna leave an impression? Check out the reviews for this perfume and you will see it is a top seller for a reason. It is bomb, I promise you. Get this, like get this now. Okay, the next fragrance on the list is definitely, probably, I'm gonna say it's, it's in my top five, okay? Because I hate putting things in like an order just because everything is my favorite. But I can confidently say that this next fragrance is definitely in my top five. It is Dolce & Gabbana's The Only One. Oh, guys, I don't even know where to start with this. This, yo, this scent is fire. This is definitely a great fall and winter perfume. It's perfect for date night. So if you wanna be very sensual, if you wanna come off as very mysterious, very sexy, then this is the perfect date night scent. It smells so good on the dry down. It smells great at the first spray, okay? You don't have to let it dry down in order to enjoy this. It smells delicious straight off of the bottle. It has great sillage. So as you walk by, you're definitely going to leave an impression. It is a beautiful scent. It is a floral scent, but obviously a very warm and spicy gourmand. The key notes in this is a violet and bergamot. The middle notes are coffee and iris and the base vanilla and patchouli. So as you can see, the running theme for this obviously is uh, very warm and spicy, but God, and I love the bottle. It's so chic, very feminine, simple. It looks great on top of your dresser. Ooh, one of my favorite, favorite scents of all time. And then later on in this video, I'm gonna let you know what I mix this with, especially when you're trying to do damage. I'll let you know what I mix it with. Oh, I also forgot to tell you, I have the 1.6 ounce bottle and it runs for $96 retail. Okay, so we're gonna get into this next fragrance. I have the most fragrances by this particular designer. It is a YSL Libre. Oh my gosh. This is interesting. Okay, so first of all, this is not what I typically pick when it comes to fragrances, because like I said, I'm more of a warm and spicy gourmand type of a person, but this is more of a floral, but it's a good floral. This is like floral done right. And this is one of those that you, you gotta spray this and you gotta let this dry down. The magic of this is in the dry down. It is a beautiful scent. It's in a beautiful bottle. I love that it has the YSL logo right along the front. It has a beautiful black top and kind of like this gold, it looks like a collar basically, but it is so, pretty and there's a tiny little notch. I don't know if you can see that right here in the corner. The bottle is beautiful. I have the, I wanna say 1.6 ounce and it retails for $106. It is a warm floral. The top notes are lavender, mandarin orange, black currant. The middle notes are lavender, Moroccan orange, blossom and jasmine. And the base is Madagascar vanilla, musk, cedar and ambergris. And like I said, the magic of this is definitely in the dry down because ooh, it's, it's, it's that warm and spiciness that comes in just at the end that's just so amazing. So when I first sprayed this, I did not like it. Actually, I hated it. I went home. I smelled my wrist on where I had sprayed it and I was just like, yo, I need, I need to go back right now so I can go pick that up. 
And that's exactly what I did. Fell in love with it. It was hands down, like, look at it. I, I went, I don't know if you can see that, but I, <laughs> I wore this thing out. Like I was killing it. That's how good it is. So yeah, this is like a stunner, such an amazing scent. And like I said, not what I typically go for. If you wanna smell like money, if you wanna smell like a walking bank account, then you need to get the YSL Libre. It's top tier. It smells so good and very much luxurious. Like, it's what you would think of when you think of luxury. That's what you think of. It's so good. Try it on, let it dry down before you make a decision. Do not spray it in the store. You'll probably go running, especially if you like the scents that I like. The magic is in the dry down, I'm telling you now. Okay, so the next fragrance on the list is the YSL Libre Intense. Yes, there's an intense version. It's like, can it get any better? Yes, it can. This is like, this is like the twin sister that's slightly prettier. The one that's a little bit more popular, has more followers on Instagram. <laughs> This is YSL Libre Intense. This one right here runs circles around the original version. Oh my God, it is so good and it's great right out of the bottle. This is like money in a bottle. And so if you want to feel sexy, if you want to really command a room, this is what I would go with. I also mixed this one with the Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. This combination right here, that's the kill shot, all right? That's, that's the one. <laughs> this is the one that is going to make people go absolutely apeshit. It's such a good combination, such a bomb combo. Like, it's a killer combo, I'm trying to tell you. So let's talk about the notes that's in the YSL Libre Intense. So I have the one ounce, which I highly regret, highly regret, but I'm gonna utilize, like look at it. I definitely have run through it. So I have the one ounce, which retails for $80. It is a warm floral with top notes of lavender, mandarin orange, and bergamot. You know that bergamot. The middle notes are orange blossom, jasmine, and orchid. And the base is the Madagascar vanilla, tonka bean, ambergris, and vetiver. That's the reason why this one is the bomb. It's the base notes that really warm it up and make it a little sweeter. It is just such a great fragrance. Ooh, I forget sometimes just how good this is, but this one, this is the one. Like I'm telling you, if you don't, Get this, mix it with Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. The things you can get, I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so the next fragrance that is on the list is an oldie but goodie by far. Definitely in my top five as well. Also by Yves Saint Laurent. It is YSL's Black Opium. This is definitely in my top five. Five fragrances first of all as you can see I have damn near run through the entire bottle um, so it's such a huge favorite of mine Ooh, man like <laughs> sorry this is good I might wear this tomorrow you know how every now and again you have to re-smell something to understand how much you loved it dang this is good this is a great one to mix as well with Dolce & Gabbana's the only one which I have done often. This is such a delicious scent. I have the I have the 1.6 ounce, I believe, and it runs for $104 retail. It is a warm and spicy sweet gourmand with top notes of pear, pink pepper, and orange blossom, middle notes of coffee, jasmine, bitter almond, and licorice. And the base is vanilla, patchouli, cedar, and cashmere wood all the things that I love. I mean, this literally has almost every single scent in it that I absolutely love. It is a winner for me. And it's definitely one of those scents that linger when you walk by. Amazing sillage. It lasts so well on the skin. I'm gonna say a good six to seven hours. Like I can spray this and on my way home from work, the smell still lingers. It is such a great, 
scent. I love the bottle. It's a black bottle with like glitter on it and the top has the Yves Saint Laurent logo on it. Just, I love it. It's one of my favorites for sure. Okay, so this next fragrance actually has been around for a really long time. It doesn't get much play, but damn, but it's really an amazing fragrance. I love this. It is Gucci Guilty. Y'all, oh my gosh, this smells so good. Yeah, this is a very, very good one. I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say it's in my top five, but I will say it's bomb. Like you're gonna make, like there's no way someone will smell this on you and not think you smell absolutely delicious. I love the bottle. If you know me, then you know anything gold I'm drawn to. So it has the GG logo on the bottle. I have the, dang, I don't have the price here, which I hate. I thought I had the price, but I wanna say I have the one point, I have the 1.6 ounce. I will find out the price and I will leave it somewhere here on the screen for you. It is an oriental fragrance. The top notes are Mandora, pink pepper, Bergamot, which I love. Middle notes are lilac, geranium oil, rose, and violet. And the base is patchouli and amber. I love patchouli, I love amber. As you can see, that is one of the ingredients that if it's in, that, in a perfume, chances are I'm gonna probably love it, especially if it's in the base because, ah, oh, this is really good. I don't know why this doesn't get as much play as it should this is bomb this is that de you're definitely gonna feel sexy in this fragrance right here okay so this next perfume right here this is in my top three okay so yeah i had my top five this is in my top three it is the burberry her Oof, guys oh my god first of all the bottle is beautiful. It's very simple, which I love. I can appreciate simple beauty. It is in a clear bottle. It just has the Burberry logo at the very bottom and it has a matte pink top and a slight gold rim around the top of it. Not only is it a beautiful bottle, but it's a beautiful scent. The nose behind this is Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. He is the same genius that made the fragrance that is up next, but we'll talk about that in a second. I got the largest bottle that there was. I actually tried this on in the store. I sprayed it, I left. I could not stop thinking about it and I immediately came back the next day and purchased this and I got the largest bottle. It is the 3.3 ounce. It is $128 retail. It is a floral fruity gourmand. The top notes are strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, black currant, mandarin, orange, and lemon. The middle notes are violet and jasmine and the base notes made up of all the things that I love. Musk, vanilla, cashmere, oak moss, woody notes, amber, and patchouli. This perfume I feel like is, is genius, okay? This is perfect. Not only can you wear this year round, I mean, summer, spring, fall, winter, on vacation, in a cabin in the mountains, on the ski slopes, it's just, it's beautiful and it's very sexy, it's super feminine. So if you really are tapping into very feminine vibes, which is always good to do, then you wanna pick this up. This is a very irresistible perfume. And a lot of people compare this to Maison Francis Kirk Dijon's Baccarat Rouge 540. And I can see why people would say that. First of all, he is responsible for both perfumes. So he's the one who created this perfume for Burberry. So he clearly knows what combinations work together, but this does not smell like that. It gives you the same vibe that it is extremely sweet, but done just perfectly. You can drench yourself in this. This is actually my second bottle, just so you know how much I love it. I already went through 3.3 ounces of this. Love this. Like I said, you trying to get somebody to buy a bag for you? You trying to get somebody to drop a bag for you? 
this is the scent, okay? I love it. It's one of my top three favorite perfumes of all time. Okay, so we are on the last fragrance on the list. I wanna say it's my top favorite, but I don't wanna say that because I love different fragrances for different reasons. So I will definitely say this is my top three. It is Maison Francis Kirk de Jean's Baccarat Rouge 540. It is the straight version of this, so not to be confused with the original. This is the one, guys. Okay, the hype is real. I know everybody's like, should I buy it? Oh, everyone has it. I know that. Listen, the hype is real. It doesn't matter if everyone has it. The fact of the matter is, is that everyone who smells it falls in love with it. Everyone who smells it on you won't ever be able to forget you. Okay, are you getting my vibes? Like this is just, it is everything. And to be honest, I hate when people say everybody has it because everyone does not have it. First of all, this particular scent right here is not the original, and that one I feel like is a lot more popular than this one is. While they are similar in scents, there's a few ingredients that are quite different, which makes this one so good. And this one costs a little bit more. It retails for, let me get my notes. This one retails for $435. I have the 2.4 fluid ounce. It is in its beautiful signature red bottle with the gold top. It is extrait. So like I said, the extrait is a little bit more concentrated. The perfume concentration is at 20% or more. And listen. Listen, I'm a, listen, the bottle's almost gone and I'm devastated, okay? We have gone through this. It is a unisex fragrance, so it smells just as delicious on men as it does on women. This is the scent that you only need one spray, two max. It has amazing sillage, okay? Like, if you wanna get talked about when you leave the room, this is it. If you wanna get texted the next morning by someone asking you what you had on, this is it. I'm telling you, this is the one. If you don't get anything else, get this one. It is so good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Every time I smell it, I laugh because just that's how good it is. Let's talk about the notes. Okay, so the top notes are bitter almond and saffron. Middle notes are Egyptian jasmine and cedar. The base notes, are ambergris, woody notes, and musk, okay? So how that compares to the original, in the original, the top notes are saffron and jasmine as opposed to the bitter almond. And I think that's what kind of changes it. And the middle notes are amber wood and ambergris, and the base note is fir resin and cedar. Listen, you will smell, like you will smell this on your clothes for days, okay? I'm, well, until you wash it next time. That's how concentrated this perfume is. It's worth every single penny. There is a reason why he is such a genius when it comes to perfume. There are quite a few other scents that he has made that is beautiful, and we'll talk about that in another video. But in the meantime, we're gonna end it off on that note. Okay, so we're gonna talk about combinations really quick within this list right here. So one of my deadly combos is to mix the two of these together. They work so well because they smell similar. They're on the same realm. So if you want to try to smell slightly different than someone else who might have this, who might recognize it very quickly, then I would highly suggest mixing these two. They work so well with each other. So the Burberry Her layered with the Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait. It is a perfect winning combination, top tier, chef's kiss. I totally recommend mixing these two if you want to make a real statement. Like if you really want people to run after you on the streets, mix these two. Okay, so another amazing combination is gonna be the Dolce & Gabbana The One along with the Black Opium. It's something about the coffee notes in this that just kind of mellows this out. It is just perfect. Like I said, another winning combination. If you just wanna smell slightly 
different than everyone else or you know because these are very popular scents especially black opium it's one of ysl's most popular scents okay everybody has ysl black opium but if you want to kind of switch it up a little bit pump fake them <laughs> Okay, I gotta stop acting like that. So yeah, if you just wanna switch it up really quick, then mix in the Dolce & Gabbana, the one and, or the only one, I don't know why I keep saying that. Mix in the Dolce & Gabbana, the only one with YSL's Black Opium is amazing. They make magic together. And then my last combination recommendation is again, Dolce & Gabbana's the only one and YSL Libre Intense. Let me let me be clear. This only works with the intense version. Do not, and I repeat, do not mix this with the original YSL Libre. It does not make for a very good combination. I have done it before and I've almost died, okay? I could not, like I needed to get home and wash off immediately. That was the worst mistake I ever made in my life. And I just, I don't know what I was thinking. But these two together are absolutely beautiful and I highly recommend mixing the two of these if you want to kind of switch it up and just have a very unique scent. And keep in mind, these are gonna smell differently on you than it does anybody else. So, you know, even if you do find one that you think is very popular, it's always gonna smell a little differently on you than it does everybody else, you know? So yeah, these two, killer combo. Love it, 10 out of 10 recommend. Okay guys, that is it. Those are my top perfumes. If you are wanting to stop traffic, if you are wanting to capture a room, if you are wanting to mesmerize everyone around you, those are the fragrances that I definitely recommend. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and let me know in the comments down below, what are your favorite scents? What is your top favorite fragrance to go to? What is the one that you think is like mesmerizing? I'd love to know in the comments and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you are alerted every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.